Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be our homeschool room tour. So last year Brantley was just in kindergarten. We kind of just did school at the kitchen table, sometimes on the couch. It really just depended on wherever we just did it. But this year I have more things. Um, I'm going to be doing more things with Deacon and he's my four-year-old so um he'll be doing pre-k Brantley will be doing first grade and then i wanted some things for gunner too he's two just so that he can do things while we're doing things and honestly it's easier to do school with him in the room because he can play with something while we are doing school and last year i felt like it was a little bit hard because he wanted to be sitting at the table with us and we tried to just do it when he was napping so I think this is gonna be a lot better of a situation because I have things for him to do where we will be. So he will have his own things to do. And yeah, I just think it's gonna work out a lot better this way. So this will be my second year homeschooling and I am so excited, I cannot wait. We are gonna be starting July 1st and so that's coming up really soon. I am still waiting on two things to arrive and that is just our activity boxes for our science curriculums and um, there's two different boxes for that. And um, I got them from a website. It just basically comes in a box that has everything already for you so that I don't need to go out and get all the different supplies that I need for those two specific things. And so um, that is the only thing I'm waiting on. Everything else is ready to go. Everything's prepped and I'm excited. So, um, and I'll do a separate video sharing with you guys what exactly I'm doing with Brantley for first grade and what exactly I'm doing for Deacon for pre-K. So anyway, we changed our homeschool to our playroom. We took out a ton of toys, got rid of things, and now we have mostly homeschool stuff in here, but it is also our playroom. So it's our playroom slash homeschool room, and I love it. I'm obsessed. And I think the kids are too. They really wanted to have it in here. So we just moved everything into one location, but we will still do school at the kitchen table, on the couch, wherever, outside, you know, whatever. But at least we have like a designated area now where we can kind of keep everything because I think that'd be a lot better for us. So anyway, let's just get started because I could chat forever and this video will get really long if I keep doing that. So let's get started, you guys. Okay, so when you walk in our front door and you turn to the right, you will see this room right here. So this room is like off of the kitchen. This hall goes to the kitchen. This way you can get, get to the kitchen. Um, but anyway, it's like supposed to be a dining room area, but we have a dining room area that way. There's like a kitchen table and everything. So we were using this room as a playroom. And then now that we're homeschooling, we decided to use it for homeschool. And it's also still a playroom because there's toys in here too. But um, there's not as many toys as there were. And there's a ton more books and more homeschool stuff. So this is pretty much where we keep mostly everything. And then I have a closet, which is right here, which I'll show you guys in a second. But that is like our coat closet. But we use it for um, to store all our homeschool stuff too. So starting with this area. So right here we just have a toy. Um, this sign I got from Hobby Lobby and I love it. It says always be humble and gentle, be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. And I love that little quote. And then in here, like I said, this is like a little hallway that goes straight to the kitchen and then you can go to the kitchen this way too. So whichever way you want to go, but not really homeschool related. It's just our mail. Um, calendar I usually put our meals up there and then right here on this wall um, this is where I hang all the kids like crafts and things like that and I need to wipe this all down like I need to I need to actually take everything down right now and start clean for the year which I'm going to do today but yeah this is where I hang all of their stuff just right here in the hallway I thought about maybe doing like a chalkboard wall down here um, maybe because I thought that might be really fun for like Gunner and stuff to do while we're doing some school. I don't know. We'll see. What do you guys think? I think I should put that there. I don't know. But right here we just have our little play kitchen. I have our cash register, little ice cream shop thing. So it's like toys mixed with like learning. And then this sign, Bless This Mess. I got that from Hobby Lobby as well. Over here, Gunner just has his little workstation that he is, he loves this thing. 
Um, and then this cube organizer holds mostly all of the school stuff. The play letters I got from Hobby Lobby. Up here in this bin, this is kind of the things that we're going to be working on. So this has um, all of our science lessons and then it has some stuff that Brantley, so this is more like curriculum stuff. This is stuff that Brantley is going to be working on. Um, not necessarily yet, but what he'll be going into because we still have some things that we're finishing, um, continuing in from last, this past school year. And so we've just had off a couple weeks and we're starting again. So we'll just like, we'll just continue to school from where we're at. But this is like his next step in his books. Um, like he's doing math for living education, but he's on book one. This is book two, but he's almost done book one. So this is just like the extra stuff plus... Um, we have like our science stuff in here that we'll be doing and our science folders and his journals in there that he'll be working on. Um, and then when he reads, he gets a sticker. So I just put those up there. So this is just stuff we're going to need. Um, then I have this, the 50 States book just out and just on display. And then up here, I also have paintbrushes, colored pencils, markers, regular pencils. Back here, we just have some paper, plain paper. And then I have this other little, um, this is like a more Waldorfy um, set of beeswax crowns. And then behind that, I just have, so this is just adding and subtracting and just a little Melissa and Doug thing up there. And then I have our Melissa and Doug clock. And then I have this thing for um, Deacon for math. It's from the Good and the Beautiful. I just have a plant from Target. My diffuser, we use this all day, even when we're not doing school like right now. I need to actually put stuff in there, but um, we have our diffuser. I have, these are my things. So this is a stapler and then just some things for me, like my scissors, pens, stuff, um, dry erase markers, highlighters, all those things. This, this is like my little area right there. Um, and then in this shelf, we have some puzzles, like numbers, letters, things like that. Um, this is all of the books that we'll be working on this year, just different things we'll be doing this year. And then these are some extra books. We probably won't get to these. I don't know if we will or not, but um, I did just buy them. And then I bought this. And then these books right here. Um, at the end here, we'll be working on those because it's bugs and space and we'll be doing a lot about bugs. We'll be learning a lot about bugs in space. Over here, this is our morning basket stuff. So, um, if you guys want to see, I'll do a whole separate video on that. But this is just things we'll do as a family. And it's just like our devotions, Bible, all that, th all that stuff, stories. Um, yeah, just some things like that. And then these books right here are all the books that Brantley can read himself. So he knows to go to the shelf and, well, it's actually more this area. But when he wants to read, he knows he can go to this section and read. And then I just have some more books. These books are more for Gunner. They're more baby books. But Gunner loves to read too, so I have his books up there. And then this is just a toy that Deacon loves to play with. And in here is like the toys that go with, um, they're like all the little figurines and stuff. So not school related in there. In here, I just have some other educational things for Gunner. So there's this little board that he can write his letters, which he hasn't started anything like that yet, but we do love that little writing thing. It's awesome. Um, and then this, which he loves this actually, um, but it tells him the, the letters. And then he has like his little light up paint thing, which this is really cool. I don't know why it's on right now. Yeah, all that stuff is in there and then in this one this is like cars and monster trucks so more toys and then in here is um these are gunner's legos so he can play with his big dupo legos in here in here we have all of his like workbench stuff and in this one they these are more educational we have like dinosaurs and stuff and then i just got um all these bugs so these bugs we'll be learning about. So I have those in here. And then like sea life things for when we talk about those things. Or or like I said, if they just want to play with them. Um, and then in this one, these are puzzles and um, Lincoln Logs and a matching game. 
And then in this one, this is the superheroes. These are all superheroes. There's a ton. But yeah, that's so that's that's his toys in there. And then in here, um, I just got this plant off Amazon and the basket I got from Home Goods. And I just like to have plants. <laughs> I'm like I love fake plants. So. Uh, and then this easel is actually from Amazon too. Oh, and I will link anything I can find below so you guys can, um, you know, if you're interested in something, then you can check it out. If not, totally fine. If you see something that I don't mention, just reach out to me on Instagram so that I can get you links to things if you're looking for something. Um, but on the back here, this is our calendar. So this on the other side of the easel, it's chalk and this is dry erase but this is like our calendar. So we used this this year and we'll use it again for our next school year. But it just has the months of the year, the days of the year, I made this. Um, the Pledge of Allegiance, how many days of school we've had, which I need to erase that. Um, and yeah, this is just fun. We do like the days of the week song, the months of the year song, and it's more for Gunner and um, Deacon. But but yeah, they love it. And then under here, I just have um, the boys' math um, manipulative, manipulative boxes. And then down here is like things, um, like this is some extracurriculum stuff. And then this is, so in here they have, like Brantley has his reading chart, will help, which he'll put a sticker on. And then it has like what he needs to get done that day. And then same thing with Deacon, because we're doing more of like a flow and not necessarily a schedule. Um, so it'll just be like things they need to get done that day and they can do it in whatever order they want. And then right here on the floor, I just have a basket of these like magnet tiles and all the kids love those, but I just have them here so Gunnar can just like dump them out and play with them while we're doing school. Over, over on this wall, I just got this from Crate and Barrel and it's just the map of the United States and it has uh, state names symbol and um capitals so i love it i love it. it's like a it's kind of like a burlap i don't know it's not getting good lighting there you go um but yeah i love it it's fun i don't know what else i'm gonna do on this wall i thought about doing something else on this wall but for now that's what it is and then gunner's little plane thing mickey plane shopping cart and this is our little grocery store which is really awesome the kids love this it's a great toy but it's also like Good because they can really learn with it and then Gunner's little vacuums back there this rug right here is from home goods and I wanted something that I didn't care if they got like paint on or anything like that and then this table is from pottery barn it's the craft table and these chairs are from Target the chairs come in a two-pack um, from Target online this is Brantley's little drawer which has like some of his things in it like his paints and his sketch pad and this one is Deacon so his paint sketch pad are in there too and I like that it has like the little roll here so we can just lay it out and they can go to town coloring painting whatever they need to do or want to do and then right here is the coat closet and I'll show you guys this so this is where we keep all of our school things craft things games lots of stuff this is all just like stuff for us like there's glue guns up there batteries chalk sticks all kinds of things and more games um and then in here i have some manipul manipulatives <laughs> can i say that word today we have some manipulatives in here some more games like card games and then we have like our kinetic sand and putty thinking putty that the kids like to play with play-doh more games and learning stuff um and then down here we have some flash cards brain quest some slime their pencil boxes some more manipulatives we have our dry erase like glue glue sticks more crowns paint lots of different things that we would need um for school and just arts and crafts in general this is like all of our papers in here. So we have, um, have like their composition books, which they just get these out in right color or whatever. Um, we have plain books in here. We have little mini dry erase boards of like the um, mess-free coloring stuff. We have coloring books. 
We have construction paper and plain paper and stickers, lots of stickers and tattoos. We have some workbooks in these ones that they can get out and do. Um, these are just from like the Target dollar spot, which is some fun things they can do. This is all of Deacon's curriculum in here that he is doing, and this is Brantley. So when we start school, they each get these out, and that's kind of what we work on all day. Um, but these are more like their books, like their handwriting without tears, their language arts book that they're gonna be working on, and then it also has like their stuff in there, their pencils, flashcards, just different things like that in there. And then this is some craft stuff that we need for that specific book that they're working on for language arts. Like we need clothespins for what Deacon's doing, we need cotton balls for what Deacon's doing, so all that stuff's in here just so I know where to go when I'm doing his language arts with him. And then this is just some stuff Brantley and Deacon are doing right now before we start school. So Deacon's practicing letters and Brantley's doing this reading thing. Um, and then this is just some more kinetic sand I have up here because they were just doing that. And then these are just some more index, or not index cards, um, flashcards in here for Brantley that he's working on right now. So yeah, this is like basically everything. This was our schedule um from this past year but we're not doing this anymore i'm just gonna do more of like a flow so i'm gonna redo this and figure out how we're gonna do it exactly but i'm gonna change this is gonna change a lot because um we're doing more we're not doing like a specific schedule like we're not gonna do language arts 130 to 430 130 or 120 to 140 we're just gonna have like they can pick do they want to do math language or handwriting first do you know what i mean and then they can decide like, this is what you have to get done today. What do you want to do first? And then that's what they'll do. So anyway, yeah, that's the closet. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed our homeschool room tour. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe and be a part of our YouTube family here. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy videos like this, if you enjoy homeschool videos. And come over and follow us on Instagram because I'm on there pretty much every day, whereas here I'm only here more like three times a week, sometimes two times a week. So it's better to come over on Instagram there all the time. So, all right, you guys, we will see you on our next one. Bye. Bye.